Today we are going from this to this right after this. Hey Superstars, it's your girl Malika aka Miss Magic back with another video. Today we are doing a classic pin curl ponytail. I call it my Princess Tiana look. But first if you are new here, welcome to my channel. Thank you for coming. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. Give me a big thumbs up and hit that notification bell so you can be alerted when I do post another video. So tonight is prom and you have to give this gorgeous beauty a pin up style so we're going to do it on her natural hair so what I'm going to do right now is blow dry it and I'm going to flat iron it and we'll come back in when I'm ready to style Alright guys, once I have flat ironed her hair, I have sectioned out her bang area. She's going to have her flowing tendrils in the front. And what I'm going to do now is secure her ponytail using beeswax and got to be glue. When securing my ponytails, I always work in two sections and I always start with the back first. So I will clip up her front part and then I will just start using the uh, beeswax to push her hair up into the ponytail style and we're going to do this until we get all the way to the bottom and after I apply the beeswax I am using my rat tail comb to go ahead and seal in the beeswax and make sure that the hair is smoothed up to the top and you will continue to do this all the way to you get to the bottom I do not start using the got to be glue until it's all the way secured at the bottom so as you see, I'm doing, I just put a little beeswax in, use my rat tail comb and comb it up. And I'll continue to do this with each layer going to the bottom. All right, once I get all the way to the bottom, I left a little piece out because she's gonna get a little tendril in the back as well. Uh, once I secure this bottom part with the beeswax and comb it nice and smooth, that's when I will start to spray the got to be glue on and I will use my blow dryer to actually secure it. Once I've secured the back half, I will do, you put a little clip in just to keep it together and then I will go ahead and proceed with the front doing the same thing in the front using the beeswax. This In the front, I don't go all through the head. I just do the edges and maybe a little bit um, at the top part and comb that through with my rat tail comb as well and then I secure the rest with the beeswax. Not beeswax, I secure the rest with the got to be glue and my blow dryer. Once we're all done molding it all the way up, now we are ready to secure our ponytail. You want to get it as tight and slick as uh, possible on this note, but you can always go back in and smooth it after you've put your initial ponytail in. So we're going to go ahead and just smooth out the edges, smooth out where we see any um, discrepancies in where her ponytail is supposed to be going, and then you go ahead and secure it. I'm using the big banded rubber bands to secure her ponytail and then I'm going to just um, wrap around the excess hair.
And as you see, as her ponytail is secure, I'm going around and just smoothing out any rough edges that I see. And then I'll tie around her ponytail and secure that with a rubber band. And guys, it's important to have a base with this ponytail. So I'm using her real hair as a base. If your client or your hair is not long enough, feel free to just braid hair into the ponytail and make a base that way. Because you need a base because you are putting a lot of open end bobby pins in her in your hair and you don't want to stick them into your hair. You want to be able to stick them into a base. Now I'm just giving her some simple edges and then we're going to get started on this ponytail. And the beauty of this ponytail is you do not need to use that whole bundle. So I am securing in a couple of pieces in her bang for fullness and for a little more length. And then after that, I'm going to use three fourths of the ponytail for her pin curl ponytail. Now we're going to take three fourths of our bundle and wrap it around securely around the base of her ponytail that I used at the top and we're using bobby pins closed in right here. Always always make sure that you stick the clothes and ponytails into the base of the hair. Do not stick them into the scalp of the hair. Just the base because you will cause irritation and sores in your client or your hair. So that's why you always have to have a base. And now I'm just wrapping it securely around her head and then using bobby pins as I go. This is a 12 inch bundle by the way. Once you wrap the hair around, you got your base in the middle. And that is where you're going to start pinning in your your uh, pin curls. So like I said, whether it's your client's real hair or your real hair, or it is the braid hair that you use, you're going to use, now you're going to start curling the hair, just in a circle, in like a ringlet or whatever. And then you'll take the hair and you will use your fingers and make and mold your pin curl. And now you'll just start molding the pin curls all around the base of the hair. You can use spritz and you, or you can use the got to be glued and just go ahead make you a ringlet and pin and then you just basically use your eyes to just mold it into however you want to mold your pin curl ponytail. Here I'm about halfway through and like I said I do the pin curls going around in a circle that way I have a better view of how round I want the actual pin curl ponytail to be. Um, I am using some clips to kind of secure the curls before I lock them in place with the bobby pin and the got to be glue. So uh, you can use two prong clips uh, to do this. They're easily removed. And like I said, I'm about halfway through here. And then once again, I'm still just pinning it around in a circle, molding it with my eye. Here I am securing my last two pin curls and then I will go ahead and flat iron and curl her bang and we'll get done. Now all we have to do is just curl her tendril in the back and we are done. Alright guys, this is the final look. I want to thank you all for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for me. Give me a big thumbs up if you like this video. Doesn't she look gorgeous, guys? 
and hit that notification bell so you can be alerted when I do post another video. I have inserted a few of her prom pictures at the end. Alright guys, go ahead and watch some of my past, present, and future videos. I hope to see you soon. Thank you guys for watching again. Love you guys. Bye.